Hey guys, welcome back to Close Enough Creations. This is our new project, the Coolster 500, a snowmobile powered go-kart. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nate and this is our new project, the Coolster 150. Um, I'm really excited about this project. We're building pretty much the coolest machine I've ever built. We're taking my Coolster 150cc single seater and we're gonna be strapping my 500cc snowmobile engine to the back. Um, a little history on this guy. I, I picked up this go-kart in 2017, so I've had it for about three years now. Um, it's a little underpowered for our trails and has a hard time getting up hills. I love the frame, so I've, I tucked it away in my tent and I've been waiting for the right engine to put in it. Um, I've kind of come to the realization that my snowmobile is a little large for the land and the trails that we have, so I'm donating the snowmobile's engine to this guy. It's gonna be the coolest machine I've ever built. And I mean, it already, the frame on these coolsters is a great frame to start with. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's go get our engine. This is my 1997 Polaris Indy 500. It's powered by a liquid cooled two stroke Fuji engine with Makuni carbs that puts out right around 75 horsepower. It's been a very dependable sled. I've owned it for about three years now and it's never let me down. It has right around 9,000 miles on the odometer. I don't believe it's ever been rebuilt and it still has great compression. The engine has almost 10 times the power of the engine we're replacing and about three times the power of the Ninja Buggy, which is our fastest buggy right now. So it's definitely something we're gonna have to respect. All right, let's get that engine out. Okay, so this is what a 90% disassembled snowmobile looks like. Looks like a grenade went off. I'll tell you one thing, I am really glad we don't have to put this thing back together. Okay, so before we start tearing the rear end off of this buggy, I just wanted to show you one thing that I've already started, which is to lift the roll cage up four inches. Us big guys, you know, this cart isn't meant for us. So our heads with helmets on, we're bouncing off all four of these bars. So what I've done is taken pieces of pipe and sleeved them over the original buggy's tubes and put a four inch gap, raising it up four inches, and it's given us plenty of clearance now. Okay, so here's our new engine. It's sitting roughly where it's gonna be. The plan with this guy is to use a rear swing arm just like the original buggy. We're gonna be moving this pivot point down to here and we're gonna be extending our axle out about 10 inches. That'll give us a little bit more up and down movement on our tire. We're also gonna be using the front shocks off of the old Polaris. Um, the plan with the engine is to have it mounted to the back of the go-kart and not on the swing arm like all GY6 engines. That'll just keep it from bouncing up and down. I'm gonna use jack shafts to get our power to the axle. Um, so here's our 
secondary. It's gonna be sitting right about here. So there'll be a, this will be sitting on a jack shaft. That jack shaft will have a chain running down to our pivot point down here. And then that'll have a chain running to our axle. So to get our engine closer to the back of the go-kart, we're gonna have to modify our exhaust. Um, this exhaust happens to be an all-in-one, and this is our expansion chamber, and that's the silencer or the muffler. Um, the angle, the stock angle that this thing bolts up at is right here, which puts the engine way too far from the go-kart. So what we're gonna be doing is putting it kind of at an angle like this, so we can suck the engine back in. We're gonna do that with this elbow right here. It's a 45 degree, two inch elbow. Uh, essentially, I'm just gonna cut out this segment and cut right here and put that there so we can keep this flange and be able to remove this whole piece from our header pipe. will go on here like that. This wasn't enough angle. So I chopped that off and then I did the same on the, the inside of here and it gave me a little bit more angle. So whatever you, whatever those two add up to, I got you know that much more angle out of that bend. So I think this is gonna work. We're gonna tack weld it up and see if it fits. Okay, so our exhaust is all complete. I got our elbow all welded up. I got these ears on it for our springs. So let's put it on the engine and tuck it up to the go-kart and see how much clearance we have. Okay. That looks pretty good. Of course, we can't go any further this way because we'll have our secondary right there. I'm happy with that. Okay guys, I think we've reached a pretty good breaking point. I'm gonna end part one of Project Coolster 500 right here. Part two is gonna be us finishing up the rear end. I'm gonna be extending the roll cage, mounting our engine, and refabbing up a new swing arm. Uh, I got a whole bunch of parts that are on order right now, so as they come in, I'll be you know adding that to part two as well. Um, one of my other toys that did come in was my new two bender. I have two different dies for it, inch and a half and one inch, so I'll be able to do one inch and inch and a half tube. So I got a whole bunch of that. I'm getting pretty excited about actually, you know, starting to build the rear end of this cage. So that'll be really interesting and fun as I learn how to use my tube bender. Um, as always guys, thanks for watching. And uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.